Hello, this is Mike. I'm um, going to show you how to use Luminance HDR uh, with one of my recent renders. We'll start out by starting the program by clicking on double clicking on the icon. I'm using version 201. You can see it right here. We start out by opening an HDR image, which I've saved from J Wildfire's render. I'm going to uh, open up the object mesh frame parplot center.hdr file uh, by highlighting the file and then clicking open. There's the file. It's, it looks a little washed out because the gamma setting is 2.2. So two things I want to do here is take the left side of the histogram and slide it on up here to where the green starts is green being the total histogram of this image. And then I go to the gamma menu and I pick linear because it's a linear gamma and I get a closer uh, but somewhat dark version of the image. Now, to correct that, this is just the preview image. Go to the view menu, go to HDR histogram and shrink the dynamic range which will in effect make it a little bit brighter. You saw it brighten just a little bit, I imagine. Okay, that looks pretty close to what I was looking for. So I will now save it under the File menu, Save Image Preview. I prefer mine in the PNG format, so I'll select PNG here. And save the file. With a quality 100, I want 100%. I want the whole thing. I don't need to reduce this or make it less. I want a good picture. So we have now the basic preview image saved. Next thing to do is to tone map the HDR image to bring the 16-bit down to 8-bit to where it can be viewed on most PC computer screens. Uh, click on Tone Map. And I use the Mantiak conversion method by Raphael Mantiak. It's uh, one of the best ones, I believe, in this program. I change this right away to a 90% contrast factor and a one8 uh, value for my saturation factor and I apply these changes to make a small image to see what I have. It looks pretty bright so I'm going to have to raise the details up which will in effect make it darker. Generally I do two or three at a time to see how far it's going to go and uh, ooh, we're a little dark so I might want to come back to three. So my detail, the low detail factor one is going to be um, at three and I will apply this to see what it looks like not bad so we're gonna go to full size right here at the result size and click apply by the way I'm doing everything at pre gamma of one which means you know I had converted it uh, at one so we're gonna stick to that okay this is what the low detail image looks like it might be a little bit bright here so we're gonna adjust the levels yeah, we our black level starts up much higher than we expect. So bring, clip the black off to where it starts, actually, which is up 27 units. Generally, uh, my, my way of doing things is to lower the upper side the same number of units as the lower side to keep a balance in the image. So 27 from uh, 255 is 228. So i got to set it to 228. And I click OK, and I save the low, de low detail version looking like this. That's the low de detail version. Now I'm going to do a high one. I usually do my high one at around 90. That's usually a pretty good number to apply. I go ahead and leave the large resolution because we're pretty sure that this is what it's going to be. So this is a little bit darker image because it's got all the detail in it. Some of these darker ones look a little dirty, but some of them also come up with every single bit of detail in an HDR image. Once again, our black levels need to be raised up to the bottom of the histogram. And it goes up 27, so I'm going to come down to 228 again, which I'll, this time I'll just type in since I know what the number is. And I'll save it out, and uh, we'll have... All our conversions done for this particular e image. That's it. Now I'll go to my directory and they're probably going to be there. So 
here we go. So here's your images. We're all set to go.